So here, 40 knots have been well established for the last hours now. We're in 50 knots winds and rains. The sea is foaming white. It's beautiful and stressful at the same time. Hope we'll see the end of this in the next 24 hours. Finally, the most of the southern storm has passed over the trio deep Elias and Le Cam without any damages, but it was rough on the Indian Ocean. You see the Great Depression we're trying to avoid. That's why I didn't want to go too fast. Let's go take a look at what's going on outside. But you've got to be careful because the sea's rough and it's not easy. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, mother. It's hammering 47 knots. With hail on top of that. Oh, come on, my friend. Managing the storm is mostly getting out of it. I wanted to have the least speed compared to the waves. If you don't have enough speed in relation to the event, it's going to take over. But then again, you can't go too fast either. It's a silly game. Two degrees near on the pilot setting, and you're screwed. And then you're in real trouble. In the end, it's John Le Cam who comes up nice. His options south allowed sud, him to get within 30 miles behind Yann Elias and mostly move up a place in the ranking and gain a good 100 miles on Jean-Pierre Dix, Jean who chose to cross the Bass Strait, which increased his route by 500 miles. He's filmed here by the Australian team. Une option qui l'a rallongé de 500 miles. It's not at all over. Uh, be careful, uh, huh? We're here in a phase. We've let things go by. Now we're moving back towards the depression in the wavy zones. Following up the depression, which doesn't mean there won't be any wind in there. It's quite tough. La the depression, which is quickly moving eastwards, should push Jérémy Bayou and Paul Meillat towards the two leaders who've been slowed down by a great windless bubble right on their trajectory.